Um, Yasmin being the founder and having seen all 30 years of all the martial art demonstrations felt that these guys did the best job that she had ever seen. And I am very proud of her. Yes. She's in the red. Red. you guys to very carefully look at the Ikebana before we don't we don't want these weapons for, for a moment. Carefully, you gotta get up close. And be sure there's a there's there's a clue to what a lot of the things are obvious. They have to name the different parts of the Ikebana every every week. Alright, so tell you can start with the obvious ones. Three. You're looking from the wrong side from the other one. From that, from that one. There's a clue. What do you think? Off of your nectarine? Huh? Is this off your nectarine? Ah. It's plum. I see plum. the clue. He <laughs> sees the clue. Eric sees the clue. I see the clue. There's, a, there's purple stains on one of these. Ah, I, I, <laughs> All right, and then what it puts up on top? Starts with a C. I'll get these barbarians to know flowers sooner. <laughs> <laughs> Ends with something that sounds very much like a critical family member. Yeah, go for it. Each one of you has. <laughs> each one of you have one. <laughs> Family you... member. Cardamom, is it? <laughs> Chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum. Your mom. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't have a mom, I have a mother. <laughs> That's British. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so those are the elements of, of, of the uh, hey. Hey. the Akibana for this, this week. So let me. You guys are lined up, please. So I will read this out loud. This is for Stu Sensei, Eric Senpai, and David Sun. The School of Sword and Staff presents to you for your performance at the 2017 Japanese Cultural Fair in Santa Cruz, California. I greatly appreciate the time, the energy, and the focus you have given to your martial art practice. Sign me. So, senpai. Away someplace where they put them in their, in their sleeves and keep them clean. We can get down to the business of uh, doing the demo. And um, unfortunately, Van had the awesome weight in Huh? As you can see, you can not see any skin here anymore. <laughs> lost a little weight. <laughs> we have the we have the two shoes last week. Oh hey. Yeah. yeah. Unpleasant. Yeah. Um Alright, so the first thing you guys did was the um the they they have these weapons. Hey. Hey. I'm gonna sit. <laughs> has the traditional heavy training weapon, which is called a Tandu bolt. All right. Uh, 
Senpai has what's called a super ito, and it's meant to be awkward, heavy and awkward. This is about four pounds. This is about five pounds. And this is about eight pounds. He does this one hand. Um, so we're going to do three swinging exercises. So actually, you can join in. Uh, get, a, get something heavy. Get something heavy. Pick handle. <laughs> get the uh, post. Yeah. <laughs> post no, we, we, we found One that we found that um, pick handles, which have the exact shape of a sword handle, mm -hmm. uh, are the same weight as the common ball. Mm -hmm. They're actually a bit front heavy too, so it's yeah, a bit more awkward. There, there are three or four in there. He's getting the pretty one. Oh. He's getting the pretty one. <laughs> <laughs> Ichimonji! What? Hashime! Ich! Ni! San! Shi! Go! weapon that he swings around with one hand. Mm -hmm. You might want to just grab it and see what see what this is all about. Simon Fisher. Wow. Studied it for nine years. <laughs> those, those holes oh, are not one heavy. It's too heavy. Yeah, it's to lighten it. Lighten it. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful, too. You? <laughs> that was made wow. by a Lucite 4x4. Wow, that's only eight pounds. It's really heavy. Especially eight pounds. With, uh, with some inertia like behind it. That. Thank you. Yeah. He's the only one who does it one handed. Ah, uh, safely. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so, <laughs> Alright, so let's continue. Uh, let's put those weapons aside. I think you're up, David. Number one and number seven. Number one and number uh, eight. Number one and number eight. Number one and All right. So David is going to perform Tokte um, Eriru Katans number one and number eight. What? Hashime. So now for um, 
Stu and Eric's promotion for, to, to fourth down and third down. Um, part of their assignments were to assist me in creating two sets of komotachi. Uh, we're going to do the one that Eric and I did first, which is wakizashi against boku. And then they're going to do boku and nice Put you in the sun. Fishing. <laughs> 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 The last one they did was designed to show the essence of the EI. Just draw a cut. We'll draw a fairy cut. Very, very fast. Mixing it up with number nine. This is a special kata that I designed uh, when I got my new 600-year-old sword. 
you mm -hmm. old sorry. Mm -hmm. um, it's a combination of technique from uh, Takahashi Sensei and Phil Ortiz Sensei. It's to demonstrate, now this is, to, to really appreciate this, you, you have to understand, I, I'm, when I do this kata, it was for, for a 27 and a half inch sword, which is the um, Jigenru length, you know, that Phil mm -hmm. uses. Um, he's doing this with a 30 inch sword, which makes it really amazing. Mm -hmm. What? Hashime. That was not with a, that was with a real sword, by the way. He was doing that with a very, very sharp sword. Mm -hmm. oh. Very beautifully done. Yes. Nicely done. <clears throat> so, uh, the senpai is going to demonstrate with Sensei and, and David um, Kanto technique, which is heavily based in Aikijutsu. In fact, all of our fighting style is based in Aikijutsu. Too bright. Jitsu is to get people moving in two directions. So, in that, if you get somebody going in two different directions, they lose their center. So, um, men. So, what happened there is he comes, I do a reinforced parry this way taken this way and taken back that way, which leaves them open completely. So now they're going to take some of these techniques and uh, spar for you. Red or white, David? Whichever fits. I don't know which fits. It's your head. We're so serious. <laughs> I'm not sure. You know, I'm not sure what your guys, you guys are going to get to see tonight. But the basic principles. Uh, moving people in two directions, which could be right and left, up and down, to flip so that you can come in on them, is, is the key to, the, to all of our sparring. Also being completely unpredictable. Right? Call the point. One zero. Come in. Call the point. Well, completely <laughs> different sort of thing. Hush me. 
Come in. Come point. <laughs> Again. Again. Come. Come in. Come in. Call the point. One, one. Hush. Come in. Call the point. Two, one. Hush. <laughs> <laughs> They get, they can, if they're in trouble or they lose their weapon, they can step off the mm. off the mat and they get a warning. Two warnings, you lose a point. All right. Hush. Yummy. Yummy. Call the point. <laughs> I didn't think it was good. The tip didn't bend. So I'm calling it off. Hush Yummy! Call the point! Three, one. Match! Thank each other. Don't worry, let's go to my side. 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 Flying projectiles don't count? <laughs> yeah, no, it, oh, it, it, oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're doing this because they're entertaining you. It's not something you would normally, because you, you know, once you throw it, you lose your weapon. Right. <laughs> he, was, he was having fun. Around your weapon around. All right, around. so now we have an interesting, interesting, uh, Combination of Tonto against. Can we demonstrate what sense they can do? Yes. Mm. Because he has a little weapon, he can grab his. He can grab his weapon, or grab him between the arm and the shoulder, and use Aikido or Aikijutsu techniques to put him in a position where he can defend himself. So. Um, just because he has a bigger weapon doesn't give him an advantage. Oi? I'm sorry. Oni Gashimas. Oni Gashimas. Oni Gashimas. Oni Gashimas. Oni Gashimas. Call the point. One zero. Hush. Call the point. One one. Call the point. Two one. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's right. I, I made a mistake. Sorry. Since I, since I scored the point. Oi. <laughs> sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> They're having too much Call fun. Call the point. <laughs> uh, two, two. Match point. Hush. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, so it's a little more traditional. We have we have um, um, long sword against long sword. Right? It's based on what the judges actually see. Like, because Stu is large and he had his back to me when he, when he, I heard him get there. But I couldn't see it, so I can't call it. You gotta see it. So that's the very first principle. It's not fair. It's just what, what the judges actually see. So to counter that particular problem, what they are, what their technique is supposed to be doing is they're supposed to be doing double and triple strikes just so that there's no doubt in the judge's mind that something happened and happened in the, in the correct form just, you, you actually just banging it's, this is not kendo um, just hitting somebody is not a point you have to use the weapon like a sword and it has to make a cut or make a thrust a ski all right Continue. Got it. Nice, very deep. Call the point. Two. Two. Uh, one, one, no, one. one, one. One, one. Yes. Hush. Got it. <laughs> Um, call point. Two, one. All right. Did you s so since I used the, an Ike an Ike um, jitsu technique where he made him go high and then then cut low, mm -hmm. taking taking him you know away from where he you know, that was like called a second intention attack. The first one was to draw him off, and the second one was the one that scored. Come on, Kira. Call the fight. Three, one, match. And you did this, and I, you were just there, and I could have totally got you. <laughs> There's so many so good times. Squandered it! Uh, uh, let's hand me a, um, a um, contact piece. Alright, Sensei? Hey! Please. Man, here, here, here. So come Sorry, so come Here. Um, ski. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Um, do. Especially with sensei, um, 
having to correct my eye, being able to judge distance, is really the essence to what, what to spark. Mm -hmm. And the way that uh, Stu is able to, you know, perceive, you know, how how long that person's reach is, and be able to use his, his very flexible body to, you know, scoop himself out of, out of the way from the attack and immediately go back up. Not, and you know, there are two, two different weapons with two different my, mm. you know, even in the cut that I was like, oh, yeah, they, they, you know, they understand the effective cutting area and it, it, it match it very nicely. Done. I mean, I'm watching the 99 because that's my thing, but it was very nicely done and you used all the edges of the blade, oh, which was well, very good. Oh, I, sorry, I, did you guys meet me? Yes, yes, we did. Yes, we did. Yes. Maylene is my sensei. Nice. Oh, right. <laughs> yes, I studied Naginata with, with Maylene for 13 years. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. And she actually was a member of the school and sword and staff mm -hmm. 25 Back years ago. Back in the day. 25, 30 <laughs> yeah. years ago, yeah. something yeah. like that, mm -hmm. when Steve Anderson was the mm -hmm. head sensei and I was the, uh, the junior mm -hmm. sensei. Mm -hmm. nice. Very, very, very nicely done. Everybody. It's an honor to have you here, Maylene. Thank, oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> very nice. Thank you. Honored to be here. This is a four-person attack. The first, the, the story behind this, this kata, which is, was developed by um, Steve Anderson Sensei, mm -hmm. um, is you're on a hill uh, behind some bushes, spying on the enemy deployment down below, but the enemy's four enemy scouts or spies spotted you and decide to take you out. And this is how you defend yourself. Mm. Now, Dave, you've gone over this one before? Uh, hi. Can you, can, you, can you follow along with this one? Hi. All right, so. He goes a little slower. Yeah, yeah, we're going to go slower. Hey. So everybody get some space between each other. You might want to do, one of you might want to be back there. I'll be back here. Do you want to use this? Yeah, the echo? Yeah. Uh, there you go, Robert. Let's just. No, we're, he's going to he's, he's do it in sections. All right. So the first part is you're staring out that way, and somebody is coming up behind you from your uh, right side back. You're going to draw, and then with a big crescent cut, cut their leg. Then you're going to the other person's coming on the other side. You're going to spin, stop their their attack, and and the dash, cut. The next person is going to come behind you, you're going to ski. Careful. And then the other person is coming in front of you, attacking Rodan. The man, you're looking to gosh. You're going to cut him as he goes by. And then go into Shudan. Guard his spirit as it leaves the body. And then Chuburi Noto. Okay, let's do it. We'll walk through, I'll walk through it one more time and then you can do it. Alright, first attack is to your right large crescent cut to the leg. Spin, turn, hook in the gosh, cut, careful, back up the first step, there you go. And then behind you, spin, and then in front of you, oh my gosh, and as he runs by, cut him with one hand, go into Chudan, Chupuri Noto. Excellent. 
So, um, since you started, he, Senpai, you lead, please. Hey. Please follow Senpai. Ready? Hajime. Essence of EI is draw, cut, return. So very slow. Let's do it very slow so everybody can see what's going on. He draws, he skis, he thrusts, he then moves his fingers like chopsticks to do the the noto and the chiburi. You've done this one, David? Hey. Okay. And I know you've done this. All right. Hey. So please leave. Hey. Follow sensei. Two more times, please. Oi. Hashim. Then come back for more. Wait. 
Halten. demo, but that was good for a first or second degree black belt. Hey. Please. Okay. Here's, here's the only point that you... This is Crouching Tiger, so it's start very low. Uh, you used your, your, your um, forearm hey. it's rather than just your wrist. So when you draw, it's just here. You're just making this cut. You're coming up, you cut, up, cut, and then you're there. I'm having a little balance here. But the idea is just squeeze with the finger, hey. cut across here, blood comes down, and then mend. Hey. Those of you that haven't seen this before, uh, Senpai did exactly what he was supposed to. He made a mistake. He didn't try to correct his mistake. He just did it over. You never, yeah, you, you, you never fiddle, especially when you're putting the sword away. If you don't do it correctly, let it go. Just come back. Do it. Do it till you get it correctly. But don't force it. It's one of the few, few places where you actually can get injured, forcing a return of your sword into it. The sword is steel, the sigh of a sheath is thin wood. Mm -hmm. 
So you, you never want to force the sword into them. The other part, Sensei, show how we, we turn our, our swords. So we do not stick the sword into the sheath. We push the sheath up the sword. Much, much safer. You don't want to be jamming steel down a piece of wood. Thank you. Uh, let's see, which one we can... Number nine. Number nine, please. Could you do it again, but stand, turn, turn, yeah, turn more like towards me so they can see what you're doing. Yeah, this one's okay. So he's evading, he's cutting the leg, protecting the spirit. As, as his tip drops, his leg straightens, his, his knee straightens out. And when his knee becomes completely straight, then he does his chibuti, which is pull up like this. He'll show you. I'm going to turn the face David and show him that. So as his knee is bent, and see how it straightens as his, his tip is lowered, and when everything's straight, then he's going to pull up that way. And he's going to reverse grip, flip it over, and put it in. You can follow along with that. Very slowly, yes. All right, let's do it very slowly. Hey. <laughs> um, can you, you might need to, um, yeah, you need to turn around so you can see what's going on. Just be careful, Ben and David. And yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, there you go. Come back for a little bit. David can't see you. Hey, I can switch with that. Switch, switch with some fire. your right foot, shoe down, right, and then let your tip drop as your, knee, as your knee straightens out, and then up to there, reverse your, your, your hand, and close. That's not bad, baby. By the way, this is the thing that's only been studying for one year. Yeah, I mean, very good, very good. That's not a simple, no simple concept. There's there's some some um, subtleties into this. So the, the very first thing you do is, is learning to get that on the shoulder correctly. You, you, the person like is, would be like the attacker would be where they lean sense is. Hey. So, so he's coming from the side. So he's evading you. Watch this. So, first off, 
Do you know this one to your left? Hi. Hi. It reminds me of Pai Shakuni. Got first, first thing you gotta do is you gotta look left. That's the very first part of the time. Look at you, you're looking at your, 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 your attacker coming at you. Okay, uh, a little low for you just cut off his toes. Hi. Now try to cut off his knee. Hi. Okay. So, your style is, is very much a over the shoulder, on the kiss, since this style is out here, and almost it follows your leg, it's a sweeping uh, sideways. Right. But you need to be a little bit more forward. Right. And you only grab with your left hand at about this point. Hi. One hand. No, a little bit higher, higher up. There you go. Hi. Step forward into two down. Hey. Hey. We always go forward. All right. Uh, men. Okay. Here. All right. Now with the with Wakazashi, I can't grab him like a tanto, but what I can do is I can check him with an open knife hand. So I I sidestep this way out out. Then I so I'm pushing him this way, and then I take him back this way. Try it again. Hey. If, if, if completely, if I take him as he comes in, here, I take him this way, I take him this way. Basically, he has no, no, no center whatsoever. Okay? Don't worry, Gato goes in Ashtar. Don't worry, Gato goes in Ashtar. Practice. Okay, Now, watch, watch, watch me, David. As, as you come in, I sidestep here. Underneath. Underneath. Yeah, see? Now, see how you... Hey. No, no, no. You took I'm going to make it weak. Go this way. Hey. Now, what, what should you do? Hey, hey. That's the safe hey. way. Step forward. Step forward. Hey. Yeah. Step forward. Hey. Hey. Making that person 
fall on the table. Hey, hey. It'll be smoother. It's just getting falling out of control. There you go. Now we're done. here, instead of coming in this way, I'm going to come over on his elbow here and take him down. One more time. Watch, watch him. As, as he comes here, you're taking it down this way. So height. Okay. Just shh. No, no, it's 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 the up and over technique. When right. when you lift somebody's shoulder in a technique, then they are a lot I, easier to move. Right. So, so as he says, I'm going to take his shoulder up and down, and that gives me his back. Hey. And you know, so he's way bigger than the shoulder than me. <laughs> Yes, that's that's what we're talking about. Yes, now that's even better. <laughs> well, it doesn't need effort. It just needs technique. <laughs> or, a booty, or a booty shot. <laughs> I mean, we started with this one? No, I want, I want you to go down. I want you to bend him over. Okay. <laughs> I want you to take it up. Okay, I'll, I'll bend him over since then.
there. See, see how I, I Can, checked, right? Say. I checked it, and I, he, he can't move his arm. Another way to 
<laughs> you didn't touch you, right? No. Okay. Yeah, Mick. We're going to stop so, a little bit early to the tonight. Much. You guys did a great job. Let's put this, put these away. Senpai, you can hand me my Kiyaka. Jindani rip, rip. Rick, 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 Domo, Arigato, Gozaimashita. Good job, guys. Well done. Well done. That's so, uh, you know, that's a that is a whole sphere of things that you do. I mean, I I know that, but the blade and the and, you know, and the empty hand, and, and the Aiki Jutsu, and the Bato Jutsu, and the, that's amazing. We also do Tamashigiri. And Tamashigiri. That's a wonderful education you're getting. Hi. Wonderful but, it's and, very wonderful but, to have this school. Mm -hmm. um, but that isn't even our, our, our main emphasis. Our main emphasis is self-mastery through martial arts. Mm -hmm. The rest is fun, fun, and <laughs> fun The rest is fun and training. <laughs> but it's the inner inner stuff that's, that mm -hmm. really counts. Mm -hmm. And I love it that they have to learn the plants. I, w I was impressed with that before, but I forgot that that's a well-rounded education. That get, yes. Well, you know, aesthetics and you know, um, practical. And right, Takahashi told us. He says, look, just studying sword, this is not, it's not what samurai did. Mm -hmm. I mean, they studied literature, they studied calligraphy, they studied mm -hmm. tea ceremony, mm -hmm. you know, all, all, the, all the different mm -hmm. martial arts. Mm -hmm. You know, they did judo, uh, you know, you know the the shadow, yeah, all, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So he asked the, all products. of us, um, mm -hmm. take up something. No. Either animal chago, not um, animals. Oh, like milk, calligraphy, mm -hmm. something. So I chose. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's what yeah, I chose that. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. Right. Excellent. Yeah. Wonderful demonstration. I like to say it was a lot of good. Yeah. So that's what we're up to. Includes the experience for the seafood. Impressive. Um,